What is up guys, my name is Ignis, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another technical analysis and the Toro stock portfolio update for week number 35. I have picked 5 names for today. So for each first we will take a look into the chart, then our stock watchlist on Google Sheets, and lastly into the moves on eToro. I did some buying and selling for this week, so at least there is something to look into. An early thumbs up would be much appreciated and with that out of the way, let's start. The first name is Skill, sticker symbol SKLZ. After covering the stock last week it didn't do much, moving just under our third super target. But that changed for the better this week on Tuesday, with a huge green candle and the highest of $12.12 .12 per share. The relative strength index went up to 46 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD went further away from the 26th one to the upper side. Wednesday was another huge day with the highest of $13.97 and going over our second super target. The red candle suggests that we are way below the opening, but it's still almost 5% up for the day. The relative strength index is just over 50 at 50.94 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD is still going up. In the watchlist skills is in bright green, with the price being between second and third support price targets. So to get to the third support the price needs to go down for 11.02%. To get to the second support it needs to go up for 7.26%. For the first support there is still 36.29% of room. First resistance is up there for 48.39%. And to get to the second resistance there is still 77.42% of room. Unfortunately we already sold one position way too early. So on August 18th we started a position at $10.65 and then we sold it this Monday at $11.02. So we made $3.00 and 13 cents for this trade and that is a profit of 3.48 percent. Fortunately we still have a position in skills so we will be benefiting from the recent increase in price. We currently have $180 invested with an average of $14.86 per share. Unfortunately this is now in the red with minus 16.81% and that makes the value of this position at $149.86. Let's see how the stock moves further, but I will be buying back in if it drops closer to our third support target. Second name is Alibaba, ticker symbol BABA. After covering it last week the price started going lower and it bottomed out on Friday with a loss of $158.55 per share. The relative strength index was under 30 at 29.7 and we had a red bar in the histogram of the MACD. But this week is quite decent so far, even today we are up for 4.5% with the highest of $174.65 per share. The relative strength index is now just under 50 at 45 and it appears that we just had the bullish crossover in the MACD lines. I will be adding an additional support line at around $150 per share. If the price keeps moving at these levels, I believe it will help us a lot in trading the name. In the watchlist Alibaba is currently in bright green, with the price being between the second and third support targets. So to get to the third support the price needs to go down for 9.38%, for the second support there is still 12.99% of room, first support is up there at 17.58%, to get to the first resistance there is still 31.92% of room, and second resistance is up for 30 6.51%. I wanted to free up some cash so on today's jump I closed out of one trade in BABA. It was started on August 25th at a price of $166.68 per share and on September 1st I closed it at a price of $173.49. So on the trade we had a profit of $4.09 and that is an increase of 4.09%. We still have a position in BABA available so currently there is $200 invested with an average buying price of $197.85. Unfortunately we are down for 11.9% on this position and that makes a value for it at $176.12. Let's see how the stock moves in the coming week but with the extra support price target I think we will be able to trade the name more often. Third name is SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI. After the last week's cover the stock started moving lower and on Friday it went under our second super target, closing at a loss of $14.04 .04 per share. The relative strength index was just under 40 at 39.5 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD was just under the 26th one. The price was moving quite sideways this week, but by Tuesday it was still hovering around our second super target. The relative strength index was still at 40, 
but we managed to get a bullish crossover in the MACD lines. So Tuesday was the day when I started another long trade in this name. Luckily for us on Wednesday it's up for 1.6% and getting further away from the second support target. The relative strength index is now at 43 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD is inching up from the 26th one. In the watchlist SoFi is now in light green with the price being between the first and second support targets. So to get to the second super the price needs to go down for 1.67%. For the first super there is still 4.17% of room. First resistance is up there at 16.48%. And to get to the second resistance there is still 33.24% of room. As mentioned already on the 31st of August I added 100 more dollars into the name. That got me 7.11 of a share at $14.06 per share. So at the current price of $14.41 we have have a profit of $2.49 on this trade. Overall this position is down a bit for 0.56% and that makes the value of it at $198.88. But I'm confident in holding and with a recent crossover in the MACD lines, hopefully the price will keep on increasing in the coming week. Name number 4 is Take Two Interactive, ticker symbol TTWO. The stock had a huge red candle when we covered it last week and it kept dropping lower even to this Monday with the bottom at $156.62 per share. The relative strength index was just under 39 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD was going down to the 26th one. But then we saw a huge reversal on Tuesday and a more volatile day on Wednesday where we now are up 4.73%. The relative strength index is still under 50 at 48, but the 12 day moving average of the MACD is now going further away up from the 26th one. So with the price still being under our second super target, I started another long position in this name. In the watchlist Take 2 is now in bright green, with the price being under both our first and second super targets. So to get to the second super the price needs to go up for 0.42%, for the first super there is still 4.12% of room, first resistance is up for 10.89% and second resistance is up there at 15.2%. So on the 1st of September I opened a long position in the name for $100 and that got me 0.62 of a share at $161.93. At the current price of 162.6 we are up for 41 cent. Unfortunately from our $200 invested we are now down for 1.65% and that makes the value of the position at $196 dollars and 70 cents. Let's see how the stock moves in the following days but we will likely need to add another super target so that we can buy in if the price dips again. After comparing a few member and storage names from last week I want to add a new position into our stock watch list and that would be western digital ticker symbol WDC. The stock had quite a huge jump on Wednesday of last week opening 10% up for the day but losing quite a bit during. The relative strength index was just over 53 and we had a bullish crossover in the MACD lines. The next day it opened higher right there at the 50 day moving average but then the drop started. So going from 66 to 62 for the day it pretty much lost all the gains that it had the day before. The relative strength index went just a bit lower to 46.6 but we still had a green bar in the histogram of the MACD. This week the stock is moving quite sideways under the 200 day moving average acting as a good resistance. The relative strength index is at 45 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD is closing in on the 26th one from the upper side. Let's set a few support and resistance targets. So the first support will be quite close at $59.35 and the second one will be a bit further down down at $48.30. As for resistances the first one will be at $66.20 and second at $72 per share. So WDC is now in the watch list and the price is currently in yellow with it being under the first resistance but over the first super target. To get to the second super the price needs to go down for 21.64%. For the first super there is still 3.72% to go lower. First resistance is up for 7.4% and second resistance is up for 15.4%. I've yet to start a position in the name so there is nothing to show for on eToro right now. But from the watch list it seems that the price still needs to go down for a few and if it does then we can start adding money in. 
So that was it, if you got value or new ideas then make sure to push that thumbs up, it helps the channel a lot. Which stickers would you like to see covered? Share a name that you are currently watching in a comment below. If you are interested in getting notified exactly when I buy or sell any name then consider joining the memberships. By becoming a member you will get access to Discord, where I share the stock watchlist and update on any buys and sells that I am doing. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. This week we had a stock comparison to find the best packaged food name and last week that was for the largest e-commerce names from China. If you are interested in any of these then click on the video currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.